This is Becky Legiro. I am here with the world famous Antonio Esfandiari. Wait, let's just stop right there. I don't know about world famous. I'll take poker room known, okay? Poker room known. Okay, right, let's go. world famous. And uh, so Antonio is the face of Ultimate Poker, which is the first regulated site within the United States. So tell me, how are things going at Ultimate Poker? Things are going great. Um, unfortunately, given the legality of online poker, we're only in Nevada right now. We're coming out in Jersey very soon because there's legislation that passed and so it'll be legal, uh, secure and safe, uh, which is great because that's what we all want in the poker universe. And luckily, on the good side, there is legislation in eight or nine other states to legalize it in those states as well. So it's a work in progress and I think it's only a matter of time before we get states to pool liquidity and be able to play on the same network with players from out of state before we eventually hopefully move to a federal level and you know everybody loves to play poker so why deprive Americans of something they love to do right there's there's no reason to deprive them but what are you doing as a as a, as a face of the first site to be regulated to to help this process move forward here in the US to get regulation across the country I'm sitting on a panel at the G2 convention I do whatever I can to promote ultimate poker as much as I can and uh, you know I show up at events I when I play poker uh, in live tournaments I wear their logo and when they need me I'm there so I'm basically their liaison to the poker universe and you know they make it very easy on me because they're a great company to work for I mean they have some of the smartest people I've ever met and they get up at 8 in the morning and they go to the office like the real world you know so even though it's poker there's still a real world thing behind it which is very interesting yeah so we have a, a few challenges, I guess, getting poker regulated. One of them, I know, negative stigma sometimes when it comes to online poker. For example, Runner Runner has just come out, the movie Runner Runner. So basically, they paint a really negative picture of online poker. They're feeding humans to crocodiles, just making it look a really shady industry. So I'm wondering, what impact do you think this Hollywood movie is going to have on the mission to get online poker regulated here in the U.S.? Um, I don't think it's going to have any. I mean, people love poker, and people want to play poker, and they want to play at home. And so I don't think that one Hollywood movie is going to make a difference in any way. What about people like Sheldon Adelson, who clearly has something against online poker and is really lobbying against it? What, what impact will that have? I can't speak for Sheldon, and I don't know what it's going to do for the industry, but I think that there's enough weight on the other side to kind of push through that obstacle. So, so someone who is right in the middle of it all, the poker world here in the U.S., a year from now, what do you think we're going to be seeing here in the United States? I hope to be able to play with someone else in another state uh, from Nevada. Because um, obviously it's not going anywhere in Nevada. Um, and you know, I want to be able to play with my friend uh, who's in California. And I think that we're going to see that um, at least up to Mayday, Mayday. Uh, <laughs> drop my patch there. Um, <laughs> up to four or five states in the next year, hopefully. So yeah. Fantastic. Antonio, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Put the patch back on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> this is Becky Legiro with Antonio Esfandiari. Thanks for watching calvinair.com.